Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts. So, um, yeah. There's a couple more things I want to get to here, um, and you'll notice that we could easily burn through time. So uh, five biggest, tell us what you think of the five biggest targets for gun grabbers in the next three months. Well, certainly, I think uh, executive orders. Um, I mean, you know, we, we've already seen this under the Obama administration and certainly even under the, the Trump administration. But, you know, so we'll see things like, you know, pistol braces being an issue, 80 percent lowers, maybe even bringing back the, the whole green tip ammo. Uh, trying to label it as armor <laughs> piercing. Um, but, you know, yeah. that that's a great, you know, if, if people remember, that happened under the Obama administration. And Gun Owners of America and, and other gun groups made a big deal of this. We got a lot of comments, uh, congressmen uh, commenting, opposing this. And even under the Obama administration, they the ATF withdrew it. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just to warn people, you know, you're going to see executive orders coming down the line and your heart's going to sink when, when you see it. And so, so is ours, you mm -hmm. know, because, mm -hmm. you know, we, we don't like this. But I promise you, we're going to fight this. And, uh, you know, if the past is any in indication, you know, we, we may be able to beat some of this stuff. And of course, the whole thing with executive orders anyway, you know, you live by the sword, die by the sword, right? any executive order can be instantly repealed by the next president. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need an act of Congress. Mm, doesn't happen very often. Uh, there's a lot of that <laughs> happening right now, though. There's a lot but... happening right now. <laughs> yeah. And, well, actually, and to yeah. his credit, to his credit, Trump actually did some of that, uh, undoing some of the Obama gun control that, mm -hmm. that uh, he had done. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there, there was the good and the bad there. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway... Don't... We still don't have imports from all these good, all these countries because of all these uh, executive orders. So no, you're absolutely right. Um, and, and, and I don't see kept, any of those get repealed. So. We can, you know, a lot of these things were agenda items that we were actually working with people in the administration, and you know, sadly, I, I think they were putting these off, a lot of them off, till the the next administration, which of course uh, never happened. So anyway, executive orders. Executive obviously, orders that's going to be one of the things. Mm -hmm. The big battle is the filibuster. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, and our members, and thank you, you know, viewers who are members of Gun Owners of America, we really appreciate you. The filibuster is the big thing. For those who don't know what a filibuster is, uh, it's not a bone of the body or something like that. Uh, obviously, legislation has to pass with the 50% plus one, but in the Senate, you have a higher threshold where you can. Uh, force a, a filibuster or a cloture vote is what it's called, but it's basically the, the filibuster, which now means uh, the side that wants to pass the bill has to get a 60 vote out of 100 threshold. And honestly, that has been the dam that has held gun control back uh, over the years. I mean, you know, if you've ever seen the, the men who built America, uh, you know, and you watch that Johnstown flood during the time of Andrew Carnegie, um, you know, it was a tr horribly tragic thing when when the dam burst, you know, the whole town of Johnstown got flooded and thousands of people died. Well, think of it that way. I mean, the filibuster is the dam that is holding all this gun control. If, if, if the filibuster gets nuked, if they eliminate the filibuster, we are toast because they will be ramming through all kinds of gun control, universal background checks, gun bans, psychological testing. They'll be packing the courts mm -hmm. uh, to make everything that they pass be legal. Uh, it's going to be horrendous. And so that's why, you know, our members know this. We've already been making an issue of this. We've been doing alerts on this to really buck up and encourage senators to uh, to not uh, nuke the filibuster to not nix it. And we've especially been going into states like West Virginia and Arizona, where there are senators who have said they will not end the filibuster. So we're, we're going to be regularly having them hear from their constituents to make sure, as you said earlier, Hank, you know, we're watching, mm -hmm. you know, they are, the, the constituents are watching them. So uh, and, and filibuster's huge. And the filibuster thing, too, uh, yes, we're very concerned about firearm stuff, but it applies to everything. Yes. That we, we, I think we have a tendency 
to only focus on one thing. And I get that, but that's like that's like okay, the well, firearms are important, very much so. Mm-hmm. So is your freedom of speech, which they're working on that too. Mm-hmm. And then everything else. Oh, taxes, uh, Green New Deal. You just um, you imagine it. It's going to, yeah, it's going to smack know. you upside the head. Yeah. yeah. Take your pick. Yeah. <laughs> Filibuster is a massive key in America. We could have a completely different America that you uh, You'll uh, have not California. Recognize. That's what you'll have, you'll have California. That's right. Mm-hmm. They, they, the Democrats in California have arranged California so nobody else can. Mm-hmm take power in california only them so yeah yeah okay so that's uh two things do you have some other things or yeah i think other things that that we're gonna need to keep an eye out on Mm -hmm. is um you know (laughs) when the left takes power they try to rig the system to keep themselves in power so you know i already mentioned court packing uh in fact we just put out an alert about that today you did uh Mm -hmm. but you know you're going to see things like, you know, the, the left is going to try to override uh, state election laws. Uh, that's H.R. 1, you know, outlawing voter ID, uh, <laughs> outlawing limits on mail-in voting uh, or mail-in ballots. And you'll notice both of those things tend to favor one particular party, uh, the party that's pushing those. Uh, you'll see things like pushing for bringing in new states. You know, in the past, they've always brought in, you you know, like a Republican state and a Democrat state to balance each other. That's not the way it's going to be when they start, you know, bringing in D.C. statehood or other things. I mean, they're looking to get more leftist senators uh, to to keep to keep themselves entrenched and in power. Um, and, And then, of course, you know, if they can do all that. Uh, probably the death knell will be repealing the Gun Makers Protection Act, uh, which would just wipe out the gun industry. Uh, if every time there's uh, illegal use of a firearm, uh, rather than going after the bad guy, they're going to go after the, the maker or the seller of the gun. Pfft, yeah. You can kiss the well, exercise. You know, that of- poor guy that used it, he just doesn't know any better. Yeah. It's exactly. That's he, tan. He, that's he, he tantamount. Grew up in a poor family. He, just, he can't help himself. That is know? tantamount to, um, you know, to we're all getting fat and obese. You know who's to blame for that? The guys who make forks and spoons. Exactly. We got to get those guys. <laughs> they have to suffer. No, we're making choices. <laughs> make better choices, people. You know, ultimately, we're responsible for what we do. And there is a lot of what Walter's talking about coming out from these guys. There was a bill that I was looking at. I can't remember exactly which one right now because there's a whole bunch of them coming at us. Where they were basically uh, trying to remove um, Stand Your Ground in this state, saying that the poor person breaking into your home and robbing you, you know, they're suffering and they need your stuff more than you do. You know, the person who put that the person who put that bill out there. Stuff. Yeah. You're lead stuff. Yeah. Um, it's like we've imported <laughs> European stupidity. Right, right. Okay, so that uh, do we do we get to do we get to all of them or we got a few more here? Uh, uh, I'm not sure. Well yeah, those other are the big things ones. I think mm-hmm. for, for people. Yeah, certainly those are the big ones and filibuster is key to stopping all that. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously we're gonna be fighting anti gun appointments. You know, he has uh, Biden has nominated Vivek Murthy. Uh, for Surgeon General. He's extremely anti-gun. We actually opposed him when uh, Obama nominated him for Surgeon General. Uh, He started Doctors for America, which is colloquially, that's a hard word to say, Uh, Mm -hmm. otherwise known as Docs Against Mm -hmm. Glocks. Mm -hmm. Uh, But, you know, that's a group his group is pushing for doctors to be able to red flag patients in the states that already have these red flag gun confiscation orders. So we are making an issue of this um, Surgeon General pick, um, and and hopefully we'll be able to filibuster him because I mean that you know. So in other words, we're going to be fighting battles that aren't just in the legislature or executive orders. I mean we're going to be fighting different agency heads as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, there's going to be a lot going on. Uh, especially over the next two years. Um, I think if if I could throw out one more thing, uh, and and this is always something that we have to watch, is sneaking anti-gun legislation into funding bills or into must-pass bills. Um, uh, Just recently, I think it was the Los Angeles Times, 
uh, reported on an interview from a year ago with Biden, but he actually laid out his plan. That's how he wants to get gun control passed, mm -hmm. is putting it in these must-pass bills. And no, let's face it, that's how we got the gun-free school zones and the Lautenberg misdemeanor gun ban in 1996. That's the reason we don't have no machine guns. <laughs> uh, that's right, yeah. That's a big let's one. Let's go back in time a little bit. Woo, let's go yeah. back in the time machine. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Th there's a lot to, there's a lot, people really need to pay attention. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Now, I'm sure people think that we're missing out bills that, you know, look, there's there's a lot of bills and we're going to try to talk to about that here at some point. But for sure, there's tons of bills coming out there from lots of people, including on the Republican side. Gray Death said that uh, we're going after Democrats and ignoring people like Rubio's uh, suspected terrorism bill. Uh, would you agree with that before I go on to my next question? Because I'm not ignoring that. No, I, I think they came to the conversation late because we, we've yeah. already talked about that. Yeah, yeah I mean, uh, if that, I, that, if that's I a real issue. Mm -hmm. If I voice my opinion publicly about Marco Rubio, am I a suspected terrorist? <laughs> and I mean, that, people laugh about that. They're going to classify that, us that, all as that at some point, right? That is what they. That's what they. That's why they want these things because if you say anything about them, they, they can turn the popo on you, and, mm -hmm. and you know, and it's like you have no defense. You know, you know, we, we laugh about this, and yet, I mean, we know this is exactly where it's going. In fact, we've already been there under the Obama administration. You might remember that right-wing extremism report uh, talking about terrorism in America, and it was focusing on veterans, gun owners, uh, you know, people who are uh, concerned about the United Nations. Uh, yeah. That's who that, I mean, it was so outrageous, they actually had to end up pulling it. Mm -hmm. uh, but. You know that that's that's the problem when when you when you take away people's rights without due process, names can just be thrown onto these lists. Sometimes uh, it can be done at you know out of vengeance. I mean, there were reporters that were put onto the no fly no no buy list, like Paul Craig Roberts, just mm -hmm. simply because they they were critical of the administration. They and put so other they put, put other politicians on there. Uh, I yes. guarantee you someone's trying to put Trump on that list right now, except he's got uh, his own know, plane, but whatever. There's that organization called the IRS. <laughs> Remember the IRS stuff where they mm -hmm. turn the IRS loose on you if they didn't yeah. like you? Yeah. Yeah, Lois Lerner. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, look at the all those comp those organizations tried to get the non-profit status. Look at Bank of America, what Bank of America did with what happened uh, at the Capitol, and Bank of America is just giving out people's info just because they were yes. just because they were happened to be in D.C. at that time. You know, um, uh, uh, where, what is it? Uh, uh, Airbnb was doing the same thing, going through to see who was staying there and then banning people for life. There's a lot of stuff going on here that uh, we really it's need guilt to pay. by association. Yeah, yeah. And, and you can lose your rights based on guilt by association. It's terrible. Absolutely. Okay, listen, we've got a lot of people watching us. I'm going to ask the folks out there to smash the thumbs ups. We have Eric Pratt of GOA here with us, uh, taking questions, giving us advice. Um, uh, so please smash those thumbs ups out there. Share this if you can with with uh, with the folks out there. Make sure to check out HankStrange.com. You can sign up for our email list and find ways to follow and support our efforts.